force at Mather Field, Sacramento, gets a close-up of Masako Katsuro in action. Hailed as the world's foremost woman billiard player, she stages a one-man show, her first since arriving from Japan. Her cue artistry speaks for itself. Tricks, too, this oriental queen of the pool table who married an American Air Force sergeant and came home with him to California. We'll take our cue from the Flyboys and say, Bravo, Masako. Westminster, queen of the dog shows, returns to Madison Square Garden in New York for its annual two-day stand. The 76th in dogdom's most fabulous fixtures has over 2,400 canine blue bloods entered, broken down into 107 breeds. That's a lot of dog to put on, and that's a lot of Great Dane. Excitement gets so as a fellow almost forgets to breathe when the judge looks him over for best in show honors. For man's best friend and for man alike, it's a tense moment. There are six finalists, winners in their breeds and working groups. The Doberman Pincher caught the fancy of the crowd and the judge too. It took him only 15 minutes, shortest time ever, to select Rancho Doby Storm as best of show. the train bearing the body of King George VI arrives in London, hushed crowds stand mutely as picked members of the King's Grenadier Guard remove the casket before the sorrowing gaze of Britain's new queen, her mother and sister. It is a tragic moment for them. As the casket is born on the first stage of its trip to Westminster, only sobs break the complete silence of the trip. gun carriage are the Dukes of Edinburgh and Gloucester, the late king's son-in-law and brother. Huge throngs line the streets and the cortege approaches Westminster Hall. The casket is covered with the royal gold and scarlet standard and as it reaches Westminster, the group of mourning members of the royal family are joined by Dowager Queen Mary, who despite her 84 years is present to say a last farewell to her son. As the body is placed upon the catafalque to lie in state, Crowds begin queuing up for a last look at their sovereign. With shafts of light coming through the great windows, Westminster becomes for the moment a shrine of empire and the crown jewels a symbol of the Commonwealth, held together only by allegiance to the crown. Hundreds of thousands will have streamed by the catafalque before the king is laid to rest at Windsor Castle. It is a solemn moment in Britain's history as British subjects the world over mourn the man who may well become known in history books as George the Good.